So, hello to everyone, and today I will be discussing the highly debatable question of big data. Before going in depth about the topic at hand, let me first define big data. The Gartner report proposed the now three famous feeds in defining big data volume, velocity, and variety. The emergence of Hadoop, NoSQL, MapReduce, and many more all play a dynamic role in shaping the future growth trends. Having said this, big data is currently not only a big deal for those who wish to find an optimal and sustainable way in storing and analyzing it, but as well to those who wish to capitalize on the potential added value big data offers. In addressing the topic, I will first give an overview of the current and expected trends in big data analysis, followed by innovative examples of how big data can be put in practice. Big data and the issue of it being a key tool for increasing competitiveness and productivity will be the second part of my talk, and finally I will state my concluding arguments. Let me first address the trends in big data analysis. Here is a chart provided from the McKenzie Global Institute analysis, where the sectors that are targeted are healthcare, the European public sector of administration, global personal location data, US retail and manufacturing. All these industries, as you can see from the figures presented, are expected to gain value by putting in practice solutions offered by big data. Although each of them is individually very interesting, personally, I find the retail sector to be the most interesting one when it comes to the innovative examples between the retailers and the financial service providers, having in mind as well the possibility of a 60% increase in net margin. MasterCard recognized the potential and launched MasterPass, enabling purchases to customers who have a mobile payment network. In the same time, it offers its cardholders various discounts by partnering with retailers and offering them information about the customer behavior. Another example was given by Mr. Duffy, who is a director of retail banking at Fujitsu UK in Ireland, where he stated that a collaboration between an Australian bank and a retailer helped them in understanding the patterns of behavior of their customers and they changed their strategy accordingly. I believe it is fair to say that it is a key to offer to your customer base tailored products in accordance with their needs and preferences. Here you can find another chart that is important to incorporate coming from the World Economic Forum. I circle the individuals and the private sector because I shall put the focus on them when it comes to data mining and analysis. I believe that understanding changes, the shifts in demand and supply is going to be crucial for those who will aspire to gain a competitive advantage in the developing countries and emerging markets, especially those coming from the financial sector. I would first like to talk about the developing countries in short. I think everyone from Credit Suisse is acquainted with this picture, and I'm a firm believer in the power of microfinancing. By partnering with Finca and the establishing of the responsibility in 2003, I believe that Credit Suisse is a forward thinker and the solutions they implemented are bold. Now those micro-entrepreneurs are able to directly go to banks and with the advancement in technology like mobile banks and financial products in developing countries in general, the use of big data here will, in my opinion, play a decisive role in who is going to gain a bigger market share. Credit Suisse will have insight and the trust of their customers since they believe in them and this will bring them a competitive advantage against competition. The second market that will play a crucial role in big data is the emerging markets one. Credit Suisse estimated that only in Indonesia more than 90 million people are going to join the middle class by 2030. This means that understanding their needs of the new customers on the market will offer huge potential for banks to monetize this. I had the possibility to gain insight in the hold and access to the lens by the Credit Suisse game and I believe it is important to mention that the use of big data will be necessary in gaining higher return on investment and managing efficiently shareholders' value. All of this will enable offering to customers good investment decisions. So is big data a key tool for increasing competitiveness and productivity? I believe the question is not if big data is a key tool, but intelligent and applicable data, and by this I mean data where with the help of data scientists and advanced analytic organizations, will be able to transform it and model it fits their needs. When applied correctly, the increase in competitiveness and productivity will follow intuitively. However, I am aware that big data poses certain problems and challenges that have to be managed effectively. Starting with the access of data being available to everyone or just a few chosen few, then the shortage of people with skills needed to understand the data, the issue of security and privacy in the big data, and finding its suitable innovations that fit the resources. I believe this is both challenging, but as well opens a door of opportunities if dealt with in the appropriate manner. To conclude, I believe that those who are aware of the changing in the era will for sure be the winners, at least in the beginning. And I am aware that the issue of the big data is not in your seven top investment ideas, but hopefully with everything that I tackled, it might become an additional satellite. I hope I will have the chance to participate in this year's Credit Suisse Asian Investment Conference.